Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Big Brigade. Hope everybody's having a good uh, Wednesday. <laughs> I don't know why I look around. I do that every time. <laughs> what day is it? <laughs> it happens. It happens. <sighs> well, I did manage to make it to Hobby Lobby clearance and my two uh, Hobby Lobbies that I have access to. I did a live earlier, but the lighting was kind of off. Because uh, I used my webcam and the lighting is kind of the it throws the colors the color of things off But I'm using my iPhone to do this video and the color should come through true so I'm gonna uh, I'll give you the rundown of prices real quick um, This is interesting I paid between the two trips because I made a trip to bought some in Bossier and I bought some in Shreveport uh, I paid a combined amount of $52.42. When I add up all the original prices on the yarn uh, before they were marked 75% off, it would have been $188.55. Mm -hmm. Now, I have spent that in, in Hobby Lobby before, even when it was on 30% off because of the sheer, um, sheer amount of uh, yarn that I bought. But uh, not today. <laughs> I did have two big old bags when I come home and I did have to put everything in a tote next to me. Uh, and I just spent the last few minutes uh, doing the math right after I had to go play plumber in the boys bath in, in the other bathroom. Yeah, I, I didn't realize that we had a plunger so I was able to get it because something happened and it wouldn't flush so I had to go be plumber. And then while I was in there, I went ahead and grabbed the common and the brush and cleaned it while I was in there. <laughs> ah. Ah. That's me. Mom, crocheter, bug killer, toilet un un unclogged. <laughs> oh. Many talents I possess. One, I even put fire out one time. <laughs> Back, oh Lord, I guess about 15, 16 years ago, when we lived back in Arkansas, Will had gotten this candle, and he had this little plastic stacking um, organizer thing, and he put that candle on top of that thing, and his new cell phone was was right there too. And I, all of a sudden, I hear fire, 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 and um, so I go in there, and of course, fire. And so I, we had these uh, humidifiers with the big water tank on the top of it, you know. And um, so I grabbed that thing and unscrewed the thing and just shook the water all on top of it and out. And then I threw the, the whole smoldering bunch of plastic out the front door to, in, case it, in case it had any, you know, embers or whatever still, still able to ignite. And then we realized that his cell phone was melted to nothing. So it took a while to replace his cell phone. <laughs> Uh, needless to say that was pretty upsetting I think we had to use somebody else's used phone or something I forget what happened it, it's it's been a long time I don't remember how he replaced his phone but um yeah he, he had to get a different phone I I, I really wouldn't I mean it, it could have happened to anybody and he wasn't he didn't know that you shouldn't put a candle in that you know he, he didn't know not to do that I don't think he was I want to say he was 12 or 13, something like that. He was pretty young. Maybe 14. I can't remember exactly, but it's it's been a long time. And, uh, yeah, so I put fire out, too. <laughs> showed him how to skin a catfish. After, you know, then showed him how to cook said catfish. We in a deep fryer. You know, we used to have a deep fryer. I got rid of that. Um, but, yeah, when you raise sons by yourself, you learn how to do all kinds of things. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord and they and, and and when i skinned that catfish in front of will he was like mom you're gonna break a nail and i had the acrylic nails on at the time because i worked in an office and um i said nope and i put it put its head down on a hook that i had screwed into the fence post i put the catfish's head there i took a, a knife and made a little you know cut a little ring around its head and then i took some pliers and went and skinned it <laughs> He was like, <laughs> there have been a few times that my sons have been impressed by me, and that was one of them. <laughs> so 
So I just uh, figured I'd throw that, throw that, that knowledge in there, you know. Squirrel, I squirreled on y'all. Sorry about that. <laughs> but I'll show y'all the yarn again. I know the lighting was off, so I'll show y'all. Let's see which one is this. Okay, this is Comfy Classic. Yarn B Comfy Classic in the color pine. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty. And let's see here. I might have to get my magnifier out again. It, yep, where is it? There it is. I need to send one of these to Thriss. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ooh, my eyes playing tricks on me. Okay. It is 48% viscose, 30% polyester, and 22% nylon. It's a four weight. They recommend a 6.5 crochet hook. It is uh, 150 yards, 138 meters, 100 grams, and 3.5 ounces. Um, so I think I got four or five of this color. And this is pine. I'm going to hold on to that for a second. And then I got this color that is ocean water. It looks nice together, don't it? Okay. Black. Red. I only got four of the red. That's all they had. And then this color is linen. And now this is really dense yarn. It's it's really, I mean, silky soft. Okay, it's very soft. It reminds me of the yarn that, um, that I used to make that uh, cardigan a while back. That little um, light co gray colored, silver colored cardigan. It, it really reminds me of that yarn. Um, now, it doesn't profess to be low peel like that other yarn. Uh, but I have a feeling this probably won't peel very much. It just doesn't feel like it would. Uh, now it does, I believe it said hand wash. Let me see. Yeah, I think it's hand wash. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> we know I'm not going to do that, but I got, between these colors, these these colors, the, 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 you know, these and these, I got 27 all together. Because I'd really been wanting this yarn. And for 99 cents each, <laughs> I wasn't going to let it get by me again. Uh, let's see. And what I got at the other one is, let's see here. This is called through, Yarn B Through Thick and Thin. Now, that's m more true to color there. And uh, this is like a, it's, it's a roving yarn. And it's got all different kind of things in there. Um, but it is 97% acrylic and 3% polyamide. Recommends a 5 millimeter uh, crochet hook and same for knitting needles. And apparently you can machine wash and dry this one. Just don't iron and don't bleach. Yep. I'm assuming that's what it means. And there's 290 yards, 266 meters, 100 grams and 3.5 ounces. And I believe I got five in this uh, mauve color. Yeah, this, yeah, mauve. Which is somewhere between pink and purple. <laughs> Let's see. And then I got, I think I got three or four in this, um, what color is that? Lilac gray. Yeah. So, and then I got three in this denim color. What have I got? Something got stuck on that one. That's the denim color. I'm sh yeah. Yeah. And I also got four of these, which is Yarn B Chainette Reaction. It's uh, 3.5 ounces, 131 yards. It's a bulky five. Uh, where's the... Here we are. 100% acrylic. It recommends a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook, but I'm probably going to use an 8. I got this to go with the uh, Premier Color Fusion Chunky that I bought for John's um, sweater that I'm going to make later this year. Uh, I want this. I wanted to use this as an accent, and uh, I've been wanting to get this, but at 4.49 a skein, I just ha hadn't been. You know, when it's low, when it doesn't have a whole lot of yardage, I really hate to pay full price or even. You know, even three something a skein b bothers me when it only has what 131 yards. That irritates me a little. But uh, that oh, and I almost forgot. I did get three skeins of this um, Spinese. It's super, super, super thin. 
I didn't buy this for myself. I bought it for my one of my besties. This is black, of course. It is 75% viscose and 25% polyester. It's a three weight. It says it's 350 yards. And I got three of these. So these will be off into the mail soon to go to Amy. Uh, I have another little something I've been holding on for, holding on to meaning to send it to her. So I'll send this and the other thing that I got for her. I'm not mentioning it in this video because she knows that yarn's coming, but she don't know the other thing's coming. So she's always sending me surprise gifts. So it's her turn to get a surprise gift. So uh, anyway, I did go over the figures with you, right? <laughs> yeah. If I had paid full price for this yarn, it'd have been $188.55. But I only paid $52.42 between the trips, between the stop in Bossier and the stop in Shreveport, between my two, you know, buy-ins, that, that's what I spent. So, there you go. Um, if you get a chance, or if you're close, within a decent amount of driving distance to Hobby Lobby, um, give them a call first so that you're not wasting a trip, If you know. But I live so close, it didn't hurt to just pop in. So, um, it didn't bother me to do that. But it, you know, it might not be feasible for one of y'all. Because I, I know several people in the chat at, during the live said that um, they didn't have a Hobby Lobby near them, that it would take several hours drive to get there. And so you don't want to just, uh, that's not a pop-in situation. That's a plan situation. So, um, yeah. And then I did finish uh, Juan's top. I, I'm going to wash this tonight and get it in the mail probably tomorrow or Friday and uh, but I did want to show it to y'all he's seen the picture and he's good with it so uh, you know I did get that black uh, yarn black uh, cotton yarn to do the accents so this is uh, this is the top here and then it all came together and then I did a little bit around the bottom too but it, it's heavy but uh, it's still cool. I have uh, my tops and dress that are, you know, on the heavy side, but they still keep you cool enough. Uh, but yeah. But this is how it turned out. I think it turned out really nice. And as long as he's happy with it, that's all that matters to me. Um, I did it in less than a week, so. <laughs> yeah. Or about around a week. Um, but that's, that's why they call me Speedy. <laughs> And I did start that corner to corner with the cloud cake. I, I do I do mean I started it. <laughs> I haven't gotten very far, but I will. Uh, I have another project, um, a possible uh, crochet job that I'm probably gonna start with this yarn. The, uh, this is uh, discontinued yarn here. This is Karen Cotton Painterly Cakes. She wanted uh, neutral muted colors, and this is about the only one I got like that. I got four of these, but I, I'm only going to need two of them for the shawl, so it should be nice. I'll be starting that soon, too. It, I'm just going to do a simple shawl. I'm not going to do anything um, to, to, you know, elaborate. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything too elaborate. Huh. But that was, I want to just kind of go over the Hobby Lobby um, Clarence um, yarn with y'all uh, before I put the lid on it and put it up. Uh, some of this might end up in giveaways. Uh, I don't know yet. I want to work with a little bit of it first and then decide if I'm going to keep it or, or put it in a giveaway. Uh, I'll figure it out. I have yarn that I can use for giveaways. I always do. So, um, I always have a, you know, that in the back of my mind, which, which yarn would I be willing to part with for a giveaway? So, yeah. So, there's that. Anyway, uh, that's about all I got right now. I just wanted to show y'all, you know, the completed top and the Hobby Lobby yarn and go over the figures with you uh, to let you know it was worth it. I feel like it was worth it. I got a whole tote full of yarn uh, just about to the top for $52. That was worth almost 200 so yeah that's 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 a pretty sweet deal um i wasn't sure that i was going to be able to get in on that clearance but it was kind of picked over oh and don't let me forget i got recognized at hobby lobby in bozier 
by a sweet lady named Lisa. And uh, she, she started to walk past me and then she looked and she says, I feel like I know you from somewhere. And I, and I just had to laugh. I said, uh, maybe YouTube? And she said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so then she started asking me a few questions and, and let, you know, just by her questions and the conversation, I could tell she watches my videos. And uh, so I was like, that is so cool. Because that's only the second time that's ever happened to me. The other time it happened to me was in the doctor's office. And a young lady spoke up and she says, I watch your devotionals every morning. And I was like, oh. <laughs> it was just so sweet the way she said it. And I, and I, at first I was like, did I hear her right? Because <laughs> you just, I mean, you know, my channel's still pretty small. And so to, to be recognized out in public, that, that's just so cool. <laughs> it's just so cool. Of course, it doesn't hurt that on the back of my minivan, it has uh, my YouTube tag, you know, Tap Mama 73 I ha had a specially made sticker, um, vinyl sticker, and put it on the back windshield of my van. And so, um, yeah, so Tap Mama on the wheels. <laughs> I got some other stickers back there, too. I got uh, a, cro a crocheted heart with a hook, hook laying across it. And then I got another one that says, um, do you follow Jesus this closely? <laughs> All for the tailgaters, you know what I mean? Gotta love your tailgaters. And um, <laughs> then I got one that says, you can't buy love, but you can rescue it. So, there's that. Anyhow, I hope y'all have a wonderful evening. Um, there, I already have a devotional um recorded and uh I'll, that'll go live at, at its normal time um so i guess i'll see y'all tomorrow after i get a doctor's appointment tomorrow i'm gonna bring up my hair <laughs> and see what he can do about my my ever depleting hair um maybe there's something that some sort of treatment that he can prescribe or something i don't know i'm just tired of losing my daggum hair every time i wash it i come up with a handful of it so it's really aggravating but pretty soon I'll be bald. <laughs> it feels like that. I have noticed around in here, though, there's some baby hairs coming in. Just not coming in quick enough for me. <laughs> I really need to dye it. It's, uh, it's way overdue for a hair dye. It's just so frizzy back here. I mean, it doesn't take but a stiff breeze, and it does this frizzing thing. Hopefully, when I dye it, it'll, it'll, it, it always helps it when I dye it. Uh, because it's it's I'm not bleaching it, but I'm adding to the the hair follicle, so it does coat the hair follicle and make and it makes it less frizzy. So hopefully, <laughs> I just hadn't uh, hadn't had the energy or inclination to do it. Um, I just hadn't I just hadn't thought about it, even though I bought the dye a month ago. But y'all have a good night. Remember that I love you and so does Jesus. And please remember to adopt. Don't shop. Your best friend could be waiting for you at the shelter or the rescue. See you soon. Bye.